Hi guys. Well, it's Christmas Eve, so yeah. I'm gonna read um a Christmas Carol from Charles Dickens. I wanted to read the Polar Express, but I couldn't find a copy to read online. So yeah. <sighs> Once upon a time, there was a businessman. His name was Ebenezer Scrooge. He was not a friendly man. He was very rich, but he never spent it. You could say that he was very stingy. It was almost Christmas, but Scrooge didn't want to have anything to do with it. Nonsense was his opinion. He had asked his bookkeeper, Bob Cratchit, to work on Christmas Eve. Together, they went through all the finances of the year until Scrooge finally let the poor man go home to his family around midnight. Then he left the office to go home himself. I better take this to the living room. Ugh. Cause it's been a while since I was in the living room. Just don't pay attention to the TV. Ugh. Okay. Uh. That evening, Scrooge guy visitor. It was his cousin Fred. Uncle, come to our house for Christmas dinner, asked Fred. Oh, what rubbish, answered Scrooge. I hate Christmas. And that's how Scrooge, heartless, sent his nephew back into the cold. Pappy, can I turn it down a little? Is Mama okay with it? Fifty-five. Okay. He was a tough one, this Scrooge. Even collectors for the poor were uh, mostly, I think, that word is sent away by Scrooge. Look for your money. I do, he yelled. And even worse, he yelled after the collectors, the more pe Ugh. the more poor people die, the better for the problem of overpopulation. Ugh, I keep spinning on my phone. That I don't know how to stop. That night, something remarkable happened. In his dream, Scrooge got a visit from his deceased business partner. But, uh, I can't even say that now. Partner, Molly, if you continue like this, you will haunt this earth forever. Just like me, and will always be reminded of how poorly you treat others, warned Molly. He told him that he would have three spirits visit him who can help him be spared from this awful fate. And that's what happened that night. Scrooge was awakened by the first ghost shortly after midnight. I am the ghost of Christmas past, said the ghost. What are you here for, asked Scrooge. I want to show you memories. They are from a long time ago. You might not remember them so well. I am here to refresh your memory, said the ghost. Scrooge saw images from his past, like when he was left lonely and abandoned by his father at a strict boarding school. He also saw the love of his life, who he lost because he spent too much time doing business. Finally, he saw his descent. The, the, 
I can't even speak now. The sea's sister, who had always been kind to him. Stop it, begged Scrooge. I can't bear this. The ghost disappeared. An hour later, Scrooge was <coughs> woken up. Again, it was still slightly after midnight. The second ghost appeared, the ghost of Christmas past, I mean present. I already read the ghost of Christmas past. Are you kidding me? This place is amazing. Scrooge sighed. And what are you doing here? He asked. I want to show you your royal bookkeeper, Bob Cratchit. Um, he has a tough life. He has a son, his name is Tiny Tim, who is very ill. They can't afford his medicine. You don't pay him enough for all the work that he does. It's very well possible that Tiny Tim will pass away too soon. Uh, hold on. There we go. Oh, okay. So that's why bookkeeper is. The images touched Scrooge. There was a tear streaming down his face. Mom, um, do you want one? Well, how did you think Fuzzy? Uh, hold up, guys. Turn me you. Okay. Make an impression. I drew both of the bunch When the ghost saw it. Wait, no. There was a tear streaming down his face. Yeah. When the ghost saw it, he said, What a strange did. reaction. Did? His death would be a good solution to overpopulation, right? And for the first time in ages, Scrooge felt regret. Regret over what he had said about the poor and regret about how he treated his loyal bookkeeper. The ghost said farewell and the third ghost appeared. The Ghost of Christmas Future. Or, as it was originally called, The Ghost of Christmas Tomorrow. That's our tree. I think. I probably said that one. No, I'm reading. I'm reading a Christmas carol. Happy accident. All I said, you're having trouble in no, the bird spelling. I'm not having trouble. All right. It's just tradition. It doesn't have to lead to anything. What can I do for you? Asked Scrooge, who was overwhelmed by his feelings that he had suppressed for a long time and he and had been awoken by the visits of the previous ghost. Should we talk about important stuff? Um, you know, we can do that tomorrow. His experiences from the past have made him a tough man. But the memories have sparked something in him. He started to regret his behavior more and more. This ghost showed him images of his grave with no visitors, and he got even sadder. It got worse when the ghost showed him the next Christmas without Tiny Tim. The sadness of the Cratchit family touched him. He became very ashamed and wished he could be as gentle and generous as when he was born. That's when Scrooge decided to change. He ordered a turkey at the butcher. 
and had it delivered at the Cratchit family, twice the size of Tiny Tim. And they enjoyed it so much. Of course, he gave Bob a raise, then Scrooge went to the poor house where he personally apologized to the collectors and gave them a large amount of money. And that's how it happened that the cool businessman changed into a kind and warm man. He accepted his nephew's invitation to spend Christmas with his family and had a lovely time. Scrooge became like a second father to Tiny Tim. Now he did he give the boy a lot of things. What was more important, he loved the boy. And there we go. Okay, and now we can move to our regular manga readings. Yeah, I love it. I just hope we don't need a third person. <laughs> <laughs> Caroline, I gotta touch. Wait, no, no, no. I, I want to go first. Wait a minute. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. I love you, Jack. Does that mean I can say it back? I love you so much. Okay, so yes, I do. Yeah. Of one of my subscribers on Discord asked me if I read Madoka before, and I said no, and I plan to. So that's why it's in the favorites. I might actually attempt to read Magic Knight Wayoth again. Hold on. Okay, I had to see where we were. Jupiter! Darn it, Jupiter! She's gone, not again, darn it. Everything, every time I finally see it on the way, the, the black moon's flying saucer just slips off the map again. There's no way I can track it. Where the heck is it coming from? Sailor Moon, Venus. What? Jupiter, Luna, look. That's, I'll show you a real tornado using the power of my... Dark crystal earrings. Earrings, sorry. See ya. My bedroom. Yeah. Ow. I hit my elbow. What? Mm hmm. What? Mama. Ma was asking me where I was going. Oh. Didn't Pret, um, you, I mean, the Pret, I'm sorry. I said his name like it had an R in it, but that's not it. Didn't pets use that earring against Jupiter when they were bowing? Don't get too close to it, Luna. It looks like it could be dangerous. Luna, you should take the earring in the crop circle back to us.
Understood, Optimus. Send me over a containment unit, and I'll take care of it. Okay. Tuxedo mask, Luna. I'm sorry. I arrived after it had already happened, and now they have Jupiter 2. This is awful. So far, there have been over 200 UFO sightings in all 23 of Tokyo's districts. I've been monitoring the news from our control center, but it's been really rough because I can't seem to get a signal to work on to discover their starting location. I believe that Mars, Mercury, and Jupiter have all been abducted by the same flying saucer. Lately, a lot of crop circles have been appearing all over the city. I think they are related to what's going on. I believe that they are remnants of the land site, I mean landing sites, of where our enemy has been landing. I'm certain that the Black Moon has been coming to Tokyo by means of a flying saucer. They are already among us. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> They're sneaking in. They're... <laughs> Sorry. They're imposters. This is the enemy. If they are traveling by flying saucer, do you think that means that the members of the Black Moon are aliens? There's a very good chance that's the case, but I can't say for sure. Do you think it's a possibility they are trying to take over our planet? Is it their intention to kill us in order to do that? We can't let that happen. Do you think they'd kill anyone who got in their way? I'm certain that Mars, Mercury, and Jupiter are still alive. If their plan is to eliminate us, I believe that they will first take us all to where they are located to have an advantage. But why are they doing this? Picking us off one by one. I mean, isn't their goal to get Chibiusa or my silver crystal? Why don't they just come after us directly? I don't understand. This is so frustrating. I hate feeling like we are at their mercy. I can't stand this. I think it's about time we had a chat with Chibi Yusa to find out what she knows about the situation. We'll let Chibi Yusa tell us whose side she's really on. At the very least, maybe she can give us some information on the Black Moon that we don't already know. It's worth a try. Beep, 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 beep. Optimus, look at this. This is the black crystal earring we found in the crop circle. Beep, beep. It seems that its energy is gradually decreasing as time passes. <laughs> Looks like it's reached its lowest point. Beep. What does it all mean? What the heck is this earring? Yusagi, are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Dash slam. Hey, you guys. Oh, Monaco. Mamoru, I'm sorry. TV Yusa is just really excited because her friend from school is here. Oh, hey, Yusagi. This is my friend, Momoko. Y Yusagi? Who said you could call me by my first name? My friend, Momoko is really good at cooking. You should go to a parents' restaurant sometime. It seems like ever since GVU started elementary school, she's been a lot more outgoing. I don't know why it says line. Maybe it's just a translation error. Whenever I see her smiling at us and saying hello, I can't believe that she could be our enemy. Luna, if you wouldn't mind, 
I'd like to inspect that earring we found in the crop circle the other day. All right, Memo. If you need me, I'll be in the control room. But, um, panic. Ah, Chibi Yusa? No! Chibi Yusa, ah, what's going on? Chibi Yusa, huh? D that earring. No, don't bring it any closer. She's scared of the dark crystal earring. Ah, Chibi Yusa. Boosh. We have to eliminate the rest of the sailor soldiers. Rubius, we've lost so many of our own combatants already. Surely you realize this too, don't you? My job is to put into action the wishes of the prince, and that is exactly what I've done. You two are so petty. Esmeralda, oh, I'm so scared. We have the dark crystal on our side and our own lovely dark planet. Don't you see? We have nothing to worry about, so just relax and have fun with this. Besides, Sapphire, you always get so irritable and impatient whenever things don't follow your exact schedule. Accidents are inevitable. But it doesn't matter, you have a lot of power, just be happy. We have already created our own world of darkness, Nemesis, born of the power of the dark crystal. We can use our crystal to get everything we've always wanted. It is all within our grasp. Again, probably a translation error, because it says out. We already have the dark crystal. Why should we expend so much energy to try to obtain the silver crystal too? <sighs> We've already witnessed the terrible power of the dark crystal. We saw the amount of damage it did to that other planet. Prince Demand. That dead planet already belongs to you now. I don't see why we're wasting our energy when we've already made that other planet fall to us. We can't stop yet. We haven't fully experienced what our powers are capable of. I haven't seen the corpse of that other planet's great ruler yet. And besides, that planet has already fallen. It is no longer of any importance. Wise men, if we don't obtain the silver crystal, you'll never be able to power up the dark crystal to have infinity power. That pathetic stone of our enemy, the silver crystal, the one named Rabbit carried it. This is our best chance of getting it from her. Be right back, guys. The time to rid ourselves of the silver crystal once and for all is fast approaching. We will show them the power of the black moon. We must take it for ourselves away from those hate owners of the silver crystal. We'll crush it using our dark crystal. I'm going back to my room. That wise man, he seems to be an old fortune teller. <sighs> He just showed up here one day, all of a sudden, he's definitely a slick talker. But I think he's a fraud. Either way, he has the prince totally under his thumb. Wise men did give the principal an infinite power with that evil stone, but I wonder what 
that Marky gave him is heh. <laughs> the prince believes that there's worth in going after the silver crystal. I wonder if he knows something we don't. I wonder if he'll let us in on the secret soon. My sisters, this is so frustrating. I just know that our enemies will spend. <laughs> will send me to your same fate. Holding a seance for you. Rubius. I think you're up to no good. I can see that your heart has been all torn up. But do you think those five soldiers have been grieving for your loss? I want to see Sailor Moon cry in agony. Crying in agony. <laughs> Just as you have been. I think it's high time that the black moon turned this planet into ruins. Just like we did to the other one. I am Calaveras. The last of the four strange sisters. And a psychic medium. I will do as you ask, Rubius. Code 00 for Operation Rebirth. I will draw on the power of my dearly departed sisters. I will show mankind our true powers and let them know that we are not to be meddled with. I will send them a strong message from the Black Moon. I will get them to devote their bodies, their minds, their whole beings to our cause. Stop, stop, TV you stop, won't. You please tell me what's wrong. What's the mount? Are you scared of the dark crystal earring? Do you have a secret that you aren't telling us about? Because of that stone, Mama has... What happened because of the stone? What happened to your Mama? What has happened? Does it have something to do with the black moon? You've got to tell us everything you know about this... Tell us, Chibi Yusa. I don't know anything. I don't know. I'm scared, Sob. We can stop if this is too much for you right now. Chibi Yusa, just tell me one thing. Can you swear to me that you aren't one of our enemies? I I'm not an enemy. I swear, I'm not an enemy. Well, if you can't cooperate with us and be forth coming with information I will not I will not let you near us anymore <laughs> hey hey have you heard about the black list of criminals that they have been compiling of residents in our area Oh no, I haven't heard a thing. Whenever I hear anyone say the word black, my ears perk up. Black moon. With Monaco, I mean not Monaco, sorry. With Makoto, Amy, and Ray all gone. I feel so weak. I can hardly move. My heart feels like it's breaking. <sighs> Yusagi, hey, why don't we have... Our lunch in the AV room today. We've got a really good video to watch today. <clears throat> it was really hard to get a copy of all uh, of the video rental stores were sold out of their copies. Thanks, Yumino. What video is this? It's a video about channeling. Channeling? Oh yeah, it's a hugely popular thing around the world right now. I'm surprised you don't know about it. Basically, the channel is able to contact someone from another dimension or place in space-time. And they are able to transmit messages back and forth. The messages, of course, could be coming from the someone to channel contacts or maybe they are just messages from our space maybe they're just messages from our space 
What? Why do I have such a bad feeling about this? I am Calvaris, a world famous general. I will now go into a trance. I shall now begin the seance. Now who are you? I am Rubius of the Black Moon. I may have come from far away, but I am at present very close to you, closer than you may think. We are neither invaders or your enemy. We have simply come to help guide you Earthlings toward the correct path for growing as a civilization. The Black Moon? What the heck? That's a lie! I can't believe it! You guys are definitely our enemies. What are you saying? Y Usagi, it's all right. Calm down. She's just the messenger. There's no need to panic. It's not like her body is the actual body of the person speaking. Whoever that enemy you're talking about, it isn't really her. It's just a voice. This lady is just able to communicate with those in another dimension. Well, wow, Usagi! Whenever Usagi hears the phrase Black Moon, her face goes ghostly white pale. To be honest, when I saw her earlier, I was worried about her because I noticed about something is... I noticed that something is off about her. It seems like she's got a lot on her mind, as if she's on another world or something. Poor Yusagi. I wish I had the power to make her feel better. <sighs> the people of Earth are so filled with troubles, and that's why they are looking towards you for help, for guidance. If for these kinds of issues, medicine and hospitals are useless, when you tap into your own infinity, potential things like death and aging will vanish. All you have to do is believe in our, in your own power. The key is not to allow anyone to, to control you. <sighs> To dominate you. Earth must be claimed by mankind for mankind to do as it wishes with it. Miss Calveras, do you believe that we are currently facing an alien invasion? Yes, I am a skilled channeler. I speak with the members of the Black Moon frequently. If some calamity is about to befall the people of the White Moon, I'll be able to see it. Those of the White Moon cover the earth of the future in sorrow. Is she trying to brainwash people against those of the White Moon? Or is it possible that she's telling the truth? The truth? Are you saying you think that Hack can... Will we see the future? I think the translator meant to say hag, but I don't know. You think she can really tell whether or not the war is going to be invaded by aliens? Are your channeling sessions open to members of the public? Yes, I am having an exhibition this weekend in the city. I hope that everyone comes to bear witness to the truth. This could be a trap. That lady just issued a declaration of war against us. I'm not going to stand here and ignore this. The Black Moon. Miss Hino. And that was Miss Calveras. I haven't seen Makoto since they showed up. It is my destiny to fight away our enemies. Makoto! Fish. Master. Kunzite. Jadeite. Nephite. Zoysite. I have a bad feeling about this. 
I have been thinking about our current enemies and have a bad feeling about the direction things are going. We found this item up there. There appears to be a space-time distortion emanating from this stone. What could be causing this space-time distortion? I don't know. This whole situation stinks of something rotten. Master, we will support you and give you power. You must use your powers to protect the princess. My powers, huh? I feel like I don't really have any powers. I wonder why I was even reborn here without powers. There are way for soldiers assigned to protect her. Compared to those girls, I'm nothing. I can't protect her the way they can. I don't have any powers to use to protect her. And I haven't been able to protect her from what's happening now. Master, we believe in you and we believe you have power. In fact, you were reborn for the very purpose of protecting her. The princess must become queen and you will become king. That's your destiny. Don't forget that. We don't have much power left. For the sake of the princess, you must not be defeated. Creek. Huh? Who's there? Huh? My transformation brooch is gone. Now that the Earth has entered into the age of Aquarius, a new cosmic millennium has begun. This era signals great change, great reformation. Yusagi, where are you? V, is that you? My brooch was stolen. What, what do you say? I bet it was Chibi Yusa. I'm going after her to get back. Since Earth is undergoing a period of change, we want to guide you in the right direction. You must not trust the people of the White Moon. Those with the symbol of the White Moon plan to bring calamity to the Earth by means of their silver crystal. Whatever happens, you must not grow to trust those of the White Moon. You should destroy their silver crystal. Leave the future of the planet Earth to the Black Moon. That lady is a fool. Don't believe what she says for a minute. Open your eyes, Foosh. Ah, you're here. Just as you should be. I thought you'd come to see my channeling session, Stella Venus. Naru, Asanu, Asanuma, President Kotono, Venus, Ah, Mars, Jupiter, Mercury. We are the four strange sisters. Spirit energy attack. Take that. I'm being torn apart. But you're wrong. We are still in the age of love, a Pisces. I am Venus, the goddess of love, and I will defeat you. Hey, you know, at this very moment, Rubius is going after Sailor Moon and Rabbit, that brat from the future. Oh no, you soggy. V, I've got to get there soon. Finally, I found you, Chibiusa. Chibiusa, I knew you were... The one who stole it. Now give my boat back to me. Come on, hurry up, beep. You've got good reflexes. I've been looking for you, Sailor Moon and Rabbit. Now there will be no more of your pathetic running away. Mamu, huh? Sus Fem, how dare you injure me? I am Crimson Rubius. I think it's about time I show you the full brunt of my fire powers. No, he's going to attack. Use your powers. You are the only one who can protect the two of you. Gather up all your strength and 
your fist and then shout at him. Who is that? Somehow this voice is so familiar. This fell emanating from my hands. Tuxedo Law Smoking Bomber. Fuck, darn it. He's put my fire attack out. Moon Crystal Power, make up. What was that power? Wh whose voice was that? TV you saw. Venus. Moon Princess. Halation. Yeah, Stella Moon. Venus, think. Goodness, Venus. Where's GBU saw? GBU saw, why? Why were you trying to steal the silver crystal from my boat? Why are you trying to run away from? I can't use it myself, but I have to get the silver crystal. I heard that the silver crystal of the past could do what I need to do. But the silver crystal of the past must... Never meet with the silver crystal of the future. It's too dangerous. But even though it's dangerous, with its power, I could try to save them. So I had to come. That's why I'm here. The silver crystal of the past. The silver crystal of the future. Chibi Yusa, what are you talking about? You have to help us, Sailor Moon. You have to save the future Earth of the 30th century. And there we go. I hope you like this video, guys. Bye.